Hello, Grade 6 learners. Welcome to Valenzuela Live Science 6. We are now on the fifth week of the third quarter, and I am excited to teach you more about the forms of energy. How about you? I'm sure that you are also excited to listen and participate today. So what are you waiting for? Comment down your name and the name of your school. Feel free to type your answers and questions that are related to our topic in the comment box. And prepare your notebook, ball pen, and self-learning module. Our most essential learning competencies in Science 6 demonstrate how sound, heat, and electricity can be transformed. And at the end of our lesson, you should be able to Number one, describe light energy. Number two, give examples of materials that produce light. And number three, descri describe electrical energy. Before we proceed, let us have a review about the topic last week. Simply comment down the letter of your answer. Let's start. All right. In question number one, the transfer of heat through a fluid, liquid, or gas caused by molecular motion. A. Conduction. B. Convection. C. Radiation. What is your answer? All right, the correct answer is letter B, convection. In number two, the transfer of heat through the forms of rays or waves or particles. Is it A, conduction, B, convection, C, radiation? What is your answer? The correct answer is Radiation. In question number three, the transfer of heat or electric current from one substance to another by direct contact. Is it A, conduction, B, convection, or C, radiation? Comment down your answer. And the answer is conduction. Letter A. Good job! Heat energy is the result of the movement of tiny particles called atoms. Molecules or ions in solids, liquids, and gases. And we have many sources of energy. The renewable and non renewable energy energy comes in various forms these forms of energy are produced differently again here are the different forms of energy we have the light chemical mechanical energy electrical energy Magnetic energy, nuclear energy, sound energy, thermal or heat energy, and gravitational energy. And today, we will discuss about the light and electrical energy. So, light energy is the only form of energy which is visible to human eyes. Light energy is a kind of kinetic energy. Light energy travels in the form of electromagnetic wave. Light can travel through space where there is no air. 
It travels in straight line called rays. It helps us see things around us. Light contains many pockets of energy called photons. Light energy is very quick and travels faster than anything. The light speed is equal to 186,000 282 miles per second. The primary source of visible light is the sun. It can also be emitted by the lantern, light bulbs, flashlights, and many others. Next is infrared light which emits heat. It is used to switch on your television with the remote since infrared waves travel from your remote to the TV. The third is X-rays and ultraviolet light. These are short light waves used by doctors to take photographs inside our body to find out fractures on our bone. Even dentists use x-rays to check depth of tooth decay. We have two sources of light energy, the natural light and the artificial light. In natural light, Sources are those which are not man-made. Examples, sun, stars, and or also fireflies. While the artificial light, sources are those which are man-made. Examples of artificial light are Lamp, matches, and candles. One of the, mo the examples under the artificial light that we commonly see and use in home and in school is the light bulb. But do you have any idea how does a light bulb work? So, a light bulb is made up of a positive and negative terminal. A glass bulb with vacuum, filament, and lead-in wires. So, when you turn on a light bulb, electricity flows through the filament and it start to produce heat. Start to heat up and produce light. This happens quickly. For a light bulb to function, it must be plugged in in an outlet. Yes, electrical energy makes the light bulb work. The glass bulb contains vacuum to prevent the filament to deteriorate quickly. Next, we have the electrical energy. Electrical energy is another form of energy. An atom consists of three parts. The proton, neutrons, and the electrons. The movement of electrons produce electrical energy, and this electrical energy carried by electricity. Electricity 
is the most practical, most useful, and most widely used form of energy at present. Modern man cannot imagine a life without electricity. The energy from the sun and from Earth's interior as well as the energy of fuels and running water can also be harnessed to generate electrical energy. Electricity can be used in many ways. Number one, electric bulbs and fluorescent bulbs needs electricity to produce lights. Most of the home appliances use electricity to make them work. Construction workers need electricity in constructing homes and buildings. Most factories need electricity to run their big machines. Number five, lighthouses and light posts, lights on billboards and signboards use electricity. All right. If you enjoyed our discussion, just click the like or heart button below. So for us to test our understanding about the light and electrical energy, let's have this activity. Just comment down the letter of your answer below. Let's get started. Question number one. It travels in a form of electromagnetic waves. Is it A, heat energy, B, light energy, or C, chemical energy? Comment down your answer. Five seconds. Okay. The correct answer is light energy. Question number two. Which of the following does not produce light? A. Sun B. Fire C. Hairbrush What is your answer? Five seconds. All right, the correct answer is letter C, hairbrush. In question number three, what do you call a minute packet of energy a light contains? A, protons, B, neurons, or C, photons? Five seconds. Calm down your answer. Okay. The answer is letter C, photons. Question number four. These are short light waves that can be used by doctors in medicine. Is it letter A, sunlight, B, infrared, infrared light, or letter C, X-ray and ultraviolet light? Comment down your answer for five seconds. All right. The answer is letter C, X-ray and ultraviolet light. Last question. Where does electricity flow when you turn on a light bulb? 
letter A, terminal, B, filament, or letter C, lead in wire. Five seconds. Just simply comment down your answer. Okay, the correct answer is letter V, letter B, filament. Very good, grade six. Thank you for participating in our today's discussion. I know that tomorrow you will have your follow up discussion about the light energy, and electrical energy together with your science teacher in your school. So don't forget to attend your virtual class. But before we end our discussion, let us sum up the following points. And remember, light energy is a kind of kinetic energy. Light energy travels in the form of electric, electromagnetic wave. Light contains many pockets of energy called photons. Light energy is very quick and travels faster than anything. The movement of electrons produce electrical energy. And this electrical energy is carried by electricity. And for our assignment, answer the activity 2 in your science module on page 29, 21. Again, answer the activity 2 in your science module on page 21. All right. Again. Answer Leslie, reminding you that learn to light a candle in the darkest moments of someone's life. Be the light that helps others see. It is what gives life its deepest significance. By Roy T. Bennett. Thank you for watching. Keep safe. And see you again next week for another science terrific episode here in Venezuela at the Line.